Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is all about how you can essentially um, detox or just clarify your hair. It's a topic that's been requested a lot so I decided to try and make a video about it as best I can. And I'm gonna kind of divide it into two parts. It's gonna be how you can avoid any scalp and hair buildup and then how you can remove it once you do have some because it's bound to happen. Essentially scalp buildup or even hair buildup is just, it can happen for many different reasons. It can be um, any products you use if they're too heavy, for example. And it will happen naturally, you know, if you work out, for example, like the sweat, it can cause buildup and um, there's just dead skin and um, literally just so many things cause buildup and um, the only thing by trying to prevent it is that it won't happen as often and it'll be easy to remove so that's the whole point of it it's not like you can just prevent it from happening at all you'll probably notice you have scalp buildup once um, you wash your hair and it'll still just look very oily and just kind of limp or even just any flakes on your scalp, like if you would um, maybe just scratch it a little or touch it and you have like build up behind your fingernails. And um, yeah, honestly, you'll probably just notice. Um, as for your hair, like it's easier to notice scalp build up. As for your hair, you'll probably just notice it getting uh, more tangled than usual, more frizzy maybe just not acting normal even though you're following your usual routine so any of that is just a sign that you should definitely um clarify once especially if you do have hard water um you will probably have to do this very often and i use a shower filter i would literally just suggest everyone to do the same because hard water is just the most terrible thing for your hair and honestly i didn't even start using one until this year sometime but the difference um, I've had much less breakage my hair is just much more manageable and it's honestly like I can even I see less itchiness on my scalp or flakes and it's honestly made a big difference like I knew I had a hard water I just decided to never do anything about it and it's honestly not that expensive it's like it's a shower filter and you buy a replacement every few months it's honestly very affordable and totally worth it. I do think that a shower filter is probably the first step in trying to avoid buildup happening that often. The other thing would be you need to use a shampoo and conditioner and even just any hair care products should be for your hair type. If you use a shampoo that's too heavy for you or a conditioner that's too heavy for you or just not heavy enough, I guess, just anything, if you're using anything that's not for your hair type, you will soon not notice the buildup in your hair and scalp. And as for shampoo, the one thing I would say is definitely avoid silicones if you can. I mean, if they're water soluble or evaporative, for example, that's totally fine. But a silicone in a shampoo, as in a product that you're applying to your scalp, can cause so much buildup. And this may just be a, pre a personal preference. Like I do like silicones. They're amazing for any product in your ends. Um, not even all. I do prefer it on hair serums, for example. But using silicones on your scalp, I've honestly just never seen anyone who doesn't get scalp buildup from that. And again, I am no professional <laughs> at all, but it's just not an ingredient I would recommend. And, um, you know, if you, if you prefer sulfates, you know, that's not an issue, but silicones is one thing that I would preferably avoid if you're looking for a shampoo. And the next step to kind of avoiding the buildup from getting too bad is shampooing correctly. That's one thing that, um, I only, like, I never really knew there was a right and wrong way to do it. And I guess it's a matter of, uh, opinions as well, but... What I personally do is I do take the shampoo, um, put it on my on my fingers, and then lather it very well, like before applying it to my scalp, just, yeah, until it foams slightly, and then apply it to my scalp. Massage it in, and you're gonna shampoo twice. I definitely recommend this, especially if you use oil treatments or any kind of scalp treatment before washing your hair. 
And even if you don't, honestly, the first wash is just to get rid of any dirt and buildup and dead skin and whatnot. Like the first wash is just to kind of get rid of that. And you'll notice that the first wash, especially if you're using an organic shampoo, for example, it won't um, foam a lot. So yeah, that's basically what you do. You massage it in and then rinse it off. And then you do it again. You apply shampoo to your fingers, lather, massage it in, and you'll notice this time it foams more or it lathers better. And this is because now all the dirt basically is removed. So now the shampoo can focus on basically doing its job and thoroughly clean your scalp. And I like to leave that on for three minutes, like that second one. Sometimes I would add a few drops of essential oil, especially then I would leave it on. Um, but yeah, that's totally, that's just optional. I do think that cleansing twice will help a lot, at least it did for me. Another thing to avoid is using too much products. Um, there's such a thing as using products for your hair type, but there's also the right amount of products. If you use too much product on your scalp, um, I don't even know if there's like a lot of different types of products, but just if you overdo it, like, and your hair care routine is just way too big, bigger than it should be, um, that can also cause you to have buildup. Because um, a lot of times, simplest is best. And sure, my routine is not simple, simple, at least not compared to how I used to treat my hair. But it's still, I do try to use the just, the most little amount of products I possibly can. Um, not really sure if that makes sense. So this will depend on your hair care routine and your lifestyle and anything, but essentially just don't use too much, I guess is the point. Now as to the second part, which is removing buildup. There are actually a lot of things you can do. The first um, and probably most obvious option would be using a clarifying shampoo. This is the one that I use. Um, it's a shampoo and conditioner. You'll know that a shampoo is clarifying if it's more transparent and not as milky, I guess. Um, this one is still sulfate free because I, I prefer sulfate free shampoos, but it's clarifying and still just um, it really cleans my scalp, but you know, without drying it out too much. And don't forget to use a hydrating conditioner if you're using a clarifying shampoo, just to make sure that your ends don't dry out. For the clarifying shampoo, sometimes it's great to get some on your ends too. Usually I wouldn't um, apply any shampoo to my ends, but if you are doing a clarifying wash, sometimes just add a little bit of it to your ends and then just make sure you use a conditioner afterwards just to rehydrate your hair again. Another thing that can help um, clean your scalp a bit more is using a scalp massager when you're shampooing or even just um, daily use for example. And I don't always use a scalp massager when I shampoo just because um, you need to be really gentle. Your hair is wet, you know, so you don't want to break it and whatnot. But I do feel the times that I use this, like the shampoo has um, a better chance at doing its job. Not really sure if that makes sense, but basically what I would recommend always is um, put it in one spot, massage it a little, and then don't drag it, rather pick it up, put it in the next place and then massage it again like that. So this will help. Um, I will say having the right scalp massager will make the biggest difference. This one is so far just the most flexible scalp massager I've had, like you could probably see this. And the tips are not too pointy, which is really gentle. And something about the way it's shaped, I don't know, I can't really say why it's different from my others, but I just know it's better. And um, not to mention other silicone massagers I've had after four months or so, um, the tips kind of got wasted and they just, um, it didn't work anymore. It was kind of like too bendy or something. And this one I've had for quite a while now and it still works amazingly. And it's, honestly, it's really affordable. You can get it on Amazon. So if you're gonna get a scalp massager, I definitely recommend this. I've tried a lot of scalp massagers and this is so far just, I think the best one I've had. 
The next thing you can do is use a scalp scrub or um, scalp de detox, for example. These are two different ones that I have. This is a rosemary scalp scrub. This is um, charcoal scalp detox from the Innate Life. These are actually kind of very different. This one is more, it has like a grainy texture. Um, it has sea salt as one of the almost main ingredients, I believe. I'm not sure if the ingredients are on here, but yeah. It has sea salt, it has rosemary, peppermint, so it leaves a nice cooling feeling. And I think it also has salicylic acid for kind of more of a chemical detox. And you can always use um, or just make a scalp scrub at home by mixing, for example, sugar with um, your shampoo or even coffee. I do feel like products like these just take it a step further because they can exfoliate your scalp in a different way than just mixing one of those ingredients with your shampoo. Um, a lot of times it'll be chemically, for example, the salicylic acid or even here, um, the charcoal. It's something that's just a bit different. And honestly, I love both of these. I might prefer this one a little more just because the texture is actually kind of um, gel watery type and it's not grainy at all. I mean, the charcoal gives it kind of like a dry feeling. I don't know if you, uh, well, yeah, if you know charcoal, you probably know what I mean. Um, but this one is much more gentle for my scalp, especially since I do have a sensitive scalp. I prefer this a bit more, but both are honestly amazing. And this one just leaves a very cooling sensation as well on your scalp, so really amazing. Another thing that can potentially kind of help with uh, removing buildup is a boar bristle brush. I honestly don't use this every day because my fine hair doesn't really like boar bristle brushes and if I do use this, I only use it on my scalp. Like I brush my scalp and then just a little ways down, like maybe till here. Um, this helps remove a lot of dead skin and just dead hair and literally any kind of buildup on your scalp throughout the week so that when you're washing your hair there's already a lot less on your scalp and yeah honestly it's the only reason i have a boar bristle brush i mean a lot of people use it to maybe smooth out hairstyles but my hair is kind of flunk so i rarely do any kind of hairstyles so the biggest reason i have it is because of that there are also a few other things that you can do that I haven't tried myself. Um, well, some of them I have, but I don't really like them. But anyway, for example, um, an apple cider vinegar rinse. A lot of people swear by this and I have tried it and I've actually done it up till now. Like honestly, once a month I would do an apple cider vinegar rinse. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't see much of a difference. Like it's great if it works for people, but the thing is you can also overdo it. Like if you do it way too often, it'll dry out your hair. Like I honestly wouldn't recommend it more than once a month. And then not to mention just to get the ratio right is also kind of complicated. It took me a while because um, one person said this and then it was too strong for me. And the other per person said that and then I felt it didn't do anything for me. Um, so that's a way to go if you don't have any of, like, if you don't have a clarifying shampoo or anything and you just want to try it out, go for it. It didn't work for me. It might be amazing for you. Um, yeah, that's one of the things. You can also try, uh, clay powders or, like, a clay mask. I've never tried it, but I've always, always been curious. So I may try it one day. It's just, um, I think... I'm not sure what kind of clay, but I think you just mix clay with water, kind of make a mask and then apply it to your scalp. So that's also an exfoliant. And um, also, this might sound a little controversial, but um, oil treatments. So any scalp oil treatments will probably help in even removing some buildup or just reducing buildup. It depends on the oil it should be for your hair type. And also for that purpose, it should have certain oils. Um, but yeah, those are just some other things you can try out. Or even for example, uh, take lemongrass essential oil, mix it with your shampoo and then leave that on for three minutes. That should be on your second cleanse. So yeah, that's this is just some things that you can try to clarify or detox your hair. I personally do it at least 
once to two times a month. I mean, for example, this one, the detox, I actually use every other week because it's really gentle, it's amazing, love it. Um, I would use it always after shampooing for the second time. I apply this and then leave it on for 10 minutes at the same time that I apply my mask. So um, this I would use every two weeks. And then a clarifying shampoo I would use once a month. And um, well, actually, yeah, that's about it. That's all I do to clarify my hair. The thing is, since I don't use heavy products, it doesn't happen that often. And not to mention, I just kind of already know my hair. So I know usually when the buildup will happen before it even happens. So I know when to do it in time. I don't have a strict time for it, you know, just whenever I feel like it's necessary. And obviously if you use only organic products, there's a chance that you might get build up more easily than before if you've probably used sulfates um, because sulfates are harsher on the scalp so if you're now using an organic shampoo there's the possibility that it's well since it's not as harsh it will remove as much of the products and um, build up and whatnot i do use silicones every day on my ends and I have not noticed buildup so far. It's honestly, I think it's, it depends on the way you use it. It depends on your hair, your hair care, your lifestyle, just all of that on how often you need to clarify it and detox your hair. Um, as a rule, maybe start with once a month. If you feel it's necessary more often, do twice a month. Um, and then yeah, maybe go from there. But I think, I honestly think that's about it. It's not that complicated. If you do have any questions about it, just uh, leave them in the comments. Again, if you have any suggestions for a topic you'd like me to talk about, leave it in the comments and I'll try to check it out. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.